if you feel that you have depression or you've been diagnosed with depression, first of all, it's important to uh, have the guidance, the correct guidance under a, a qualified physician. That's number one. I don't want to underemphasize that. But number two, the options that exist are often more than we understand in society. If you do, as an example, have a trauma traumatic loss, like the death of a loved one, being able to cope with it and go through life with uh, this problem or this tra trauma, so to speak, basically what we're doing is we're showing you how to complement and how to exercise a certain lifestyle if it's eating, stretching, exercising that is directed towards dealing with mood modulation. This is we add the miso, we don't want the miso to be boiled because it does change the taste of the miso itself. Now what you do is you fold this in. I use about three, uh, a little about three tablespoons of miso and it will dissolve and you just keep stirring it once it's off the burner. As you can see the coloration, the brown coloration, this is what we want um, when we have a finished product for the seeds. Just one more dose here of our red radish. I like the red radish particularly in this uh, with making these rolls because it has that hot bite to it, so to speak. Let me just roll this up. And then we have something called GABA, GABA aminobutyric acid, which is a neurohormone. These are a few of the things. Then we have other substrates, so to speak, like tyrosine, which helps L-DOPA which sometimes has been considered to be a mood modulator, but there's discrepancy on that, if it's really effective or not with that. But the important part, or the important component that I'm trying to express here is, how can we look at depression or the causative factors, and how can we address the potential, uh, the potential uh, reasons why it occurs, particularly if they're endogenous? So our tofu's finished, and as you can see, it has that golden brown coloration to it, which uh, modulates pain or relieves pain. But number two, it also has the opportunity of increasing L-DOPA and specific components within the brain that help modulate moods to increase mood uh, sensitivity, so to speak, uh, making one feel perhaps a little more at peace or at ease. The texture nutty has a nutty flavor to it, and as you can see, it's, it doesn't stick together. That's when you know your rice is done. And, and once again, pineapple, very beneficial for dealing with uh, mood modulation. And now what we're going to do is just basically, here's how I prefer to prepare it, is basically slice it like this. We end up with quarters about the size of maybe an inch and a half, a little larger. 